Hello, I'm Lloyd Alquist. Uh, it's MI's West Side Comedy Theater in Santa Monica, California. We're on the Thursday Promenade in the fucking alley. I um, am an original member of Mission Improbable, and that started in uh, Massachusetts, and then we moved to Chicago, and we were a team um, at I.O. for quite a while, and we all went to classes there, and we studied with Liz Allen for a long time, who was awesome. And then, um, yeah, we've sort of slowly come over to the West Coast. We toured all over the country for a long time, and the touring company still continues now, so it's a pretty cool way for people to do it and make money for doing it, which is nice. And then I got out here and did I.O. West here and teaching a coach USS Rock and Roll, best team ever. And um, uh, then I became general manager at the West Side Eclectic, which now has become the West Side Comedy Theater. Yeah, it was a little bit of when, um, sort of when opportunity meets preparation, you know, it was like, we, it had always been something that would have been on our mind, um, but we knew we wanted to do more production stuff, more movie and writing and stuff like that, so it wasn't something that we could really bite into, but then this thing, this opportunity presented itself, which was uh, Mark Campbell, who is uh, one of the owners of the Mines Westside Comedy Theater, um, he owned the Westside Eclectic, and he was looking to partner up with somebody and we were there and I was the general manager of the West Side Collective, so it made sense. It was always a conversation, um, but we had actually been talking about doing more production stuff as far as like, all right, let's really gung ho this. But it, when, that, when that offer presented itself and we looked at it, it was just, too good to pass up. We had planned to maybe open a theater like five, ten years from now, whatever, you know, long term. Uh, but then it was just like, it's right here. So we did. Um, yeah, the touring company has always been, has been going on for almost, almost nine years now. So we've been managing that and doing that and that's a profitable business. So it was, the business bought the theater. So it wasn't like, I didn't go into my own bank account and do it. Although I am an owner on the theater, like um, the corporation and my productions is the actual owner of the theater. Mm -hmm. We we want to own comedy West at four or five. That is like our slogan. It's like we want to fucking be the place to go for comedy West at four or five. Um, I am from I O and I've been to UCB and I've been to Groundlings. And I love all the people in improv in general, and I dig our form. So it's never been like us versus anybody, but there was like, there was room out here, you know? It was like, there's a lot of cool stuff out here, and that's what the theater wants to be. Sketch, improv, stand up is a huge part of what we do, which I'm starting to love a lot. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's the, that's the goal. And, and ensemble based work. Um, we do a lot of parties and stuff like that, and people rent the place out for birthdays and shows and things like that, which is cool. Um, I think what we have to offer is, um, we're an improv team that became the owners of a theater, and we work as a team, and we've always worked as a team, and that's what's made us successful. So that's ingrained in the training center. Uh, and the other part of it is, um, I've been working as an improviser for a long time, which means gigging and doing it for money, and there are certain sort of styles of player that are more successful at that skill, I guess, and I think it's, we want well-rounded improvisers. We want people to be able to do short form, long form, really gamey, really relationship space, really abstract. We really want to be, like, I don't feel like you can be so specialized in, in a market that's so small in, for improv. You know what I mean? Like, you have to yeah. be able to do it early. You have to be able to do, you have to know what the different forms are. You have to know all that stuff. Mm -hmm. you know? So cool. that's what I think makes us different because we cover different, very specialized skills in each of the levels. 
I would like to see a strong community of comedians who are there on a steady basis. I would like to see us be um, uh, extremely industry friendly. You know, I want to be a place where the industry can come and check out new talent, talent that they may not have seen before from other parts of town. I want to be a, a, a tech friendly theater. You know, I want to do shoots there all the time. Eventually, I want to figure out how to put improv on tape and really make it work right. Because it, I still feel like that's been done yet. Mm -hmm. um, I want to be um, a place where people can, where people have a strong dedication to like getting good and not just funny. Like I think there's a difference, both on the stand-up side and the improv side and the sketch side too. Like being a good stand-up is so much different than just being funny. I love doing different things, but yeah. I love to like, ha like, like a play. Like you rehearse five times a week. Yeah. Like five you know, shows a week. That yeah. Great. I'm sure they do it. I mean, I think they do it more even in the little, little, not littler, but like, you know, like the smaller cities. Uh, like I know the guys from Improv Asylum built in Boston. They, that's what they do. You need help. You need help. You need help. You need help. And that doesn't necessarily mean money. But when we did what we did, I mean, we on the west side we wanted to change the space physically and change a whole bunch of stuff and really activate the existing community mm -hmm. and the. The assistance that just poured out of the people out there was like crazy and awesome, and we could not have done that without them. Um, I also want to thank the Lord Jesus Christ, <laughs> but we can cut that. Now I think also too, like um, flip, go with the punches. Like, don't expect it to be perfect. Shit is gonna happen. It's gonna get crazy. We're probably gonna yell and scream at each other. Like we fucking yell at each other. Um, we, uh, it's probably gonna be scary, you know what I mean? But like, if you're not doing it, then you're not doing it. You know what I mean? If you don't try, then you're not doing it. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, and be smart, think it out. Stay in school. <laughs>